like uh, most other online classes, most other online lessons, this has been one of the years when more and more people are moving to the online world to learn English. And that creates a lot of opportunity for anyone who is interested in teaching English online or any other language for that matter. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am so glad that you are watching. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the three tips that you need to earn money online as an English teacher so this is a second video in our teaching english online series and you haven't checked the first video where i talk about the qualifications that you need to teach english online then definitely need to check this video up here where i talk about all the qualifications that you need to teach english online so if you're new here remember to hit the subscribe button below and once you have done so hit the notification bell as well so that you do not miss out on the other videos in this series. As I already mentioned in my previous video, teaching English online is so rewarding and it, it's one of the best ways, easiest ways to make money online if you can basically speak great English, you have your vocabulary on point, you have your grammar on point, and you have learned all the pronunciation that you need um, to effectively speak the Queen's language so without much further ado the number one tip that you need to consider for you to effectively earn money online as an english teacher is to decide who you want to teach when it comes to teaching english online so many people of different calibers different backgrounds different age groups are looking into onto the internet to learn English. You want to start by narrowing down on the kind of student you want to teach. You might go by age gap and also by the type. So is it like business English? Is it just um, conversational English? So you start by narrowing down to the type of student you want to teach and the level of English you want to teach. The number two tip for earning as an online English teacher is by brushing up on your English grammar skills, your English pronunciation skills, your English vocabulary skills. If you are like me, it's been a long while since the last time you sat in an English class to learn English. And what I have come to learn over time is that there's a huge difference between knowing something and teaching what you know. There's, there are just two complete opposites. So as you prepare, for your journey as an online English teacher, you want to brush up on your English skills. Obviously, use your English language effortlessly throughout the day, in your daily conversations, in your daily speech, in your workplace, everywhere else you are. You're probably already using English like I do. But when was the last time you had to pronounce the word onion, for instance? When was the last time you had to pronounce the word dough, for instance? When was the last time you had to pronounce a warthog? for instance. So those are some of the challenges, some of the questions you're going to meet as an online English teacher. So you want to brush up on your English language skills. And we are talking about pronunciation. We are talking about grammar. We are talking about idioms and all different expressions in the English language that you are likely to come across as an online English teacher and i am a strong believer in setting up yourself for success from the very word go by practicing and uh, preparing yourself for your life as an online english teacher you are saving yourself a lot of potential embarrassments when you meet um, such kinds of questions one of the ways you can do this is to take up an english certification course and in this video up here I talk about some of the English certification courses, the standard English courses that you can take um, to prepare yourself for you, to prepare yourself as an online English teacher. We are talking about courses such as TEFL, we are talking about TESOL, we are talking about CELTA, we are talking about DELTA. So you definitely want to watch that video to learn about um, this English certification courses. And this will not only make teaching English online easier, but it will make it more enjoyable for you and also for your students. So remember, teaching English online is just not about uh, making sure that your students learn, but making sure that your classes as, are, are as interactive and enjoyable as can be. 
The number three tip for earning money online as an English teacher is making sure you are good at multitasking online, right? So remember that teaching English online is a multifaceted activity. And as much as you don't need to be super tech savvy to teach English online, you must be able to multitask online. So for example, you could be having your virtual um, English class ongoing and a student asks a question, for instance, and you may need to refer to your, I don't know, your internet or your computer for the same question, or you might need to send them some um, information through chat. So you must be able to be in a position to hold a class, have a class that is ongoing, find the material the student wants, and be able to send it all at the same time. That's why it's very, very important for you to brush up on your ma online multitasking skills. Yeah. Not only are you having a conversation visually with your student, but um, sometimes, as I mentioned, you need to look up stuff, either online or offline. You might have to do some clarifications here and there. You might need to chat with the, them um, online at the same time. So these are things that you're likely to face as an online English teacher and you have to prepare for them. And um, from experience, um, hiring managers always look out for these uh, multitasking skills in potential candidates. Online schools want their students to find learning to be easy, to be fun and interactive. So you must be able to um, give this kind of learning environment for the students that you are um, going to teach. And this is a kind of experience that any hiring manager would be looking for. So, well, I'm certain if you apply those three main tips, number one is define who is your target student. Who are you comfortable? Who do you love to teach? Do you prefer younger learners? Do you prefer older learners? Number two, do you prefer um, like beginner level students? Do you prefer intermediate? Do you prefer advanced? So you really have to make that decision at the very beginning because it's going to determine even what kind of certifications you uh, you sit for. It's going to determine what platforms you look for your students and it's going to determine even how much pay that you get at the end of the day. Number two, you want to brush up on your English language skills, right? Here we're talking about grammar, we are talking about pronunciations, we are talking about idioms, we are talking about different expressions and anything else that pertains to teaching English. Remember we have said it's one thing to know something, it's quite another to teach it. And then of course number three tip that I would ask you to consider is brush up on your online multitasking skills. Guys, remember teaching English online like most other things is very dynamic, it's multifaceted and you must be able to effectively hold your students' attention online when you still do these other very important functions. Thank you very much for staying up to the very end and I look forward to meeting you on the next video. Bye-bye.